the power. This mag. What is up, family? It's Professor T back representing the Power by Vibes project at thepowerisback.com. And we're doing some more reacting to undiscovered musicians, searching for some new music, bringing some light and trying to give everyone a greater appreciation for some music that you guys might not have heard before, for some people that you might not have heard of before. And today, we're going to check out a new song from the group Witty Tar Box, La Fiesta. This is their project that they made during the pandemic. I know um, Alex, one of the members of the band personally, because he used to play in my band like about five years ago-ish. And he's a really, really great player, so I already know the quality of his work, and I already know the quality of Witty Tarbot's work. I have checked out some of their stuff in the past. I haven't been able to make it out to their show. The last one that I was going to go to, I was out of town. I was actually doing um, the Long Live the Jam down in Austin when that was going on. So, next one, I'll have to make a point to get out there. They are a group that's a um, kind of a rock, kind of a folk music kind of a uh, band that's from the Western New York area. And they traveled down during 2020, uh, during the pandemic, to Miami to shoot this video. So, it has a very old school Miami Vice vibe to it. So, without any further ado, let's get to the point. Go check out the video. And... Um, We'll talk about it after it's done. See, see the venue from Mirai's part. I don't know about that, but like Alex, he ain't he technically ain't white. So like, I think he I think he's allowed to do that because he technically ain't white. Cool song too, though, by the way. I like this video too, it's a cool music video. Do I have to blur that part out? If I remember, I'll blur that part out. That was it. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be a Christian, but like, there's cracks in my armor. I don't laugh at stuff like that, okay? I'm sorry. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> I did his song writing. I gotta interview these guys too as a like artist spotlight because like I really don't know um, how they split up the uh, songwriting. But I know Alex is a songwriter. Like his song is definitely like kind of real creative storytelling wave like this.
Because then, like, this dude was saying, like, had two attempts of, like, attempted murder committed on him in this music video so far. Decide if those are machine drums or not. All right, so that was enough of that. That was Witty Tarbox La Fiesta. My first reaction to this when I saw it was like, some of me watching it now. It was this song. <laughs> you guys are stupid. Like I just said. <laughs> it helps out. Like I know one of the guys in real life. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I love it. So yeah, my reaction to the actual music though, and not just the video. <laughs> the actual music is cool, you know, it's got the storytelling vibe that I know that they like to do. Um, the actual sound of it is just like a very light and airy, ethereal kind of a sound that they've got going on in there. And I actually really like that. It's a, it's um pretty neat, you know, so that was what my first reactions to it are. What they did well, I actually like the vocals on this song. I like kind of that very drowned and reverb, airy sound that they've got going and how the vocals are kind of low in the mix. I liked it because I felt like it went well with the song and it made it very chill. And um, the instrumental, there wasn't a whole lot going on in it, but for what they did, it was clean and it was well done. Everything was very well produced, very well edited. Stuff was on beat. Didn't have anything getting all wishy washy and nothing had any rhythmic drift issues, so everything is pretty well executed. If I were to give any critiques, it's hard for me to think of any critiques with this one. I mean, really, um, the only critique that I could think of with this one is maybe make the vocals a little bit louder because, like, there's some storytelling going on in there. Like, you want to hear that, we want to hear all of that. The other critique that I would give with this one here is that, uh, see my critique here, but it's kind of with the style of the song. My critique was that I would kind of do a little bit more with the instrumental, just so it has like, maybe just a few more sounds that comes in and out, you know, like maybe even just like it's a little special effect. So like maybe just take the guitar, go like a little, you know, there's something like every now and then. So it's got a little bit of, it makes it a little bit more of a movie, you know? But yeah, that's the way all the critiques I got for this because it's really well executed. Like I said, Witty Tarbox, I know the band, I'm pretty familiar with them. I've checked their stuff out a few times before. And um, yeah, this is definitely going to make it to the uh, featured playlist for next month if it's not on this month. So yeah, all you guys definitely go check out Witty Tarbox, tell Professor T sent you. Find my comment on their video, like it, and show some love. And uh, at this point, we're going to go to the Professor T Billboard chart. We're going to see where it's going to rank. Fiesta La Fiesta. Benny Ramirez. Uh, what are we going to do with that boy? So, this one here. I'm going to move this one up pretty high. We've, we've had some bangers for like this round. You know, this, this round of uh, songs, man. I put this one up pretty high, actually, because I feel like this one is one that a lot of people will be feeling. I want to put it at number 17. So that's going to put it right above Next Avenue, Have His Smile. That was like some like very ambient music, like some Boris of Canada type stuff. I know somebody that would like that. I'm going to have to send them that one. I think they would be feeling it. And then it's right below Hey Jinx Hollow. Um, hey Jinx Hollow is like a bedroom pop song wasn't the best executed but it was very interesting and had a ton of potential to it so this one right here i think sits just below that one it's kind of in that same category of songs um 
So this one here, as I always say, the Billboard chart is not a reflection of the quality of the song. This is a playlist, and this is ranked in the order of how I would recommend these songs to people based on what I think others would like. So yeah, guys, that's pretty good. We've had some bangers. People have been down like in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s on the list. Finally, we got somebody up at number 17. We had somebody at number two this week. So hey, we're doing big things right now, baby. So I, I can't wait to do the next round of these. So let's bring it back to me. We're going to wrap this one up. I kept this one around 10 minutes. I didn't talk as much. So to Witty Tarbox and to all you guys watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song, and I hope all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you in the next review. The power is back.